Ever wished you could have your own short link domain without spending a dime? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to create your very own custom short link domain in just minutes. It's quick, it's easy, and best of all, it's free. So if you're ready to level up your link game, hit the subscribe button and let's dive right in. Okay, I've recently changed my Linktree page from Linktree itself to this self-hosted version. Wait a second, there are two S's on the screen. Let me move myself there. Okay, now it's much better. When I was creating this Linktree page, I wanted to keep track of how many people are clicking on this links down here. So if you check the URL of this button, and paste that in, you can see the URL is my own domain s.sn.io slash lt-youtube or linktree-youtube. And if I visit the URL, it will redirect me to my YouTube channel. So if I go to short.io website, for example, link to my YouTube channel, this is the link that I just clicked on it. If I go to statistics, I can see that I had two clicks from Germany and three clicks from United States and so much more information like the browsers, people from Linux, Mac and other devices. I can find out uh, where was the source of this link. In my case, I was one of the unknown referrers because I just entered the URL in my browser, but people who clicked from this page are two people. Yeah, basically that's the use case for short links. You can create short links on your own domain or on something like Bitly and you can keep track of all the numbers of visitors of that link. One thing that I like about short.io is their pricing. They offer a very generous free tier. You can see you can only have one user, which is fine. You can add up to five five custom domains, you can create up to 1000 links. Again, it's quite high for my use case. Uh, you can create links with automation like API calls and bulk create, and you can track up to 50K clicks per month. It doesn't stop your visitors to be redirected to the destination page. So they will get redirected to the desired page but you will see the results and statistics up to 50K uh, visits per month. And I will skip the rest for now. Click on get us started and sign up. After signing up, you can connect your very own domain. So go to branded links and under domains, uh, you can add your own domain. So I'll add a new domain, then click on add my own domain. I will add s.sn.dev, add the domain. Now, if I go to domain settings, you will see this warning, click on configure, click on confirm. It will send you to your Cloudflare and you can authorize this action. And as you can see, this action will add the following Cloudflare DNS record for this domain. It will be a C name, for s.yourdomain to cname.short.io. And everything is fine. Click on authorize. And if you hit refresh, you can see this new cname under subdomain of s pointing to cname.short.io. Now we can close Cloudflare. Now we need to wait until this new configuration propagates everywhere. Take a coffee break and come back to the video shortly. Okay, around 10 minutes later, I have my domain set up and there is no warning here anymore. And you can see domain now is active. Now we need to wait until this HTTPS status is correct. If I check my other domain, you can see that it has a valid certificate. Now we need to wait a little bit more for the certificate. But until then, let me show you a few things here and there. Under the main settings, go to tracking. Now, if you use services like Google Analytics, Segment, Facebook Pixel, AdRoll, you can use it here. You can add your Google Analytics ID here so that all the visits from your clients will be also captured by Google Analytics. And for developers, you can also specify your very own webhook URL. And every time someone visits, one of your short links, you will get a webhook call with that user's information so that you can do whatever you want with that information. Okay, right on time, our HTTPS certificate 
is now available. Now let's go to branded links and create our very first link. Now paste the URL here. You can customize the slug. It will automatically generate a random slug for you, but you can also override it. Since it's a link to my YouTube channel, I will override the slug to something like YT and I can save it. Now every time someone visits this address, they will be redirected to my YouTube channel. So let's try that. So s.sn.dev slash yt. And you can see how it works. And if I go to statistics, I will see that I have one visit from Germany, Berlin, from Firefox, Mac OS. Then back to this page, I can customize this even more. So click on edit. In the edit page, I can give it a title so that in this page, I can identify this link easier. So I'll just say my YouTube channel. I can specify a folder and to create a folder, I should go to this branded links and create a folder. I will name it, I don't know, generic links. Then if I refresh this, I can put it under generic links. I forgot to save it. So I can specify tags here. So I will add YouTube tag, generic, click on save. Now from this side section, I can go to iOS targeting. So if the short link is for iOS application or Android application, you can provide iTunes link to your application here and for your Android application from Play Store here. And based on the user's device, they will be redirected to the proper marketplace. So that's a very cool feature. So next up is campaign tracking. If you have done a little bit of marketing and you are familiar with campaigns, uh, you probably know this. So for example, if you have a campaign called uh, Black Friday one, when you visit your destination with these query parameters, your Google analytics will automatically pick this up and it will give you insights based on those information. So instead of providing a very long URL to your clients, you can just create a short URL like this and it will automatically include all of your information that you provide here in the link. So these next for features, they are not available in the free plan, so I'll skip those and go to QR code. Now here you can generate QR code for this link specifically. So you can play around with it. You can add my logo here. I can play around with different things here and then eventually download the PNG, SVG or PDF. Next up is A-B testing. I love this feature, that's so cool. So you can route traffic based on this specified percentage to different destinations. So let's say you have two different landing pages and you want to redirect users 50-50 to two different pages. So you can specify the other variation here and specify the percentage and click on save. Next up is HTTPS status. The default behavior for the direct is 302. As you can see, there are some description about how users browser will, will react. You can change it to this one or a different behavior to this one or this one. But for now, I'll keep it on 302. And these three are not available in free plan. Last thing that I want to show you is integrations and API. Here you can create API keys and create your short links with API calls. You can visit their API documentations under API references, search for create a new link. You can see all the information on how you can create short links with API. So this is an example for curl. You can change it to Python and other languages. So this is so cool because you can create all sorts of automation with it. I personally use this API to automate my short link generation for my YouTube content. So whenever I publish a new video on YouTube, my automation will automatically create different short links with different criteria for different places to share the links. So that's so cool. You can create the same thing. Let me know in the comment sections, what's your use case for creating short links with API. And there you have it. 
your very own short link domain is up and running in no time. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more simple guides and tech tips. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comment section below. For your next watch, I will suggest checking out this playlist. In that playlist, I will show you a few pro tips that can level up your tech life. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.